Hi guys, here where I live in St. Martin, everything goes extremely slowly and that means I'm always ahead of time. So I've gotten used to always being early and then here comes Angel. <laughs> Angel is accelerating the pace of our communication and last week I was doing a video when unfortunately Salman Rushdie was assaulted. I was almost finished and I analyzed that name. Rush D means tell in French. So Angel was rushing me to tell. Um, this week I'm trying to keep up with Angel. <laughs> so uh, I had the spotlights flown in and uh, I'm ready and I knew that I was ready when I saw that D. Sean Watson was fined $5 million. Um, I don't know what D. Sean Watson is up to. I don't really want to know. But I see that he's with the Cleveland Browns, and my name is Cat Brown, so there's another indication that D. Sean Watson is actually what's on. So Angel is calling. And how I was confirmed that this is the case is because the same day we had uh, two planes collide midair in Watsonville Airport. Okay, so he's ready, <laughs> and so am I. Angel, I can keep up with you. <laughs> um, Another thing that I noticed, if, if anybody saw the last video, it was full of Roger, 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 like the CB code, Roger and L. And the Cleveland Browns have lead commissioner, Roger Good L. <laughs> That's me, I'm good, thank you. So he's actually telling me we're all fine, and he's asking what's on. So let's see what's on. Um, Oh, I also read the Dawson Knox, Little Brother Dead at 22. Okay, but his name, Knox, is like Angel saying, I'm here. He's knocking. And uh, he's with the Buffalo Bills, and I, of course, am the Buffalo with the Chinese horoscope sign. And Bill is my angel, whose name is Bill, who identifies with comedian Bill Maher. Hi, Bill and also is a derivative of the word bow because we think this angel is um, a deep one. So, oh, another thing to notice about this guy, Knox, 254 pounds, if anybody's familiar, they would know this is significant. All right, here's what's on. Uh, just last week, I was talking about the royal family and their name codes. And uh, they get called out, they get tagged in name codes. And I had mentioned that um, Windsor had been in the news for the royal family because William and Kate are moving back to Windsor, and then there was the Windsor Hills crash, full of name associations. That's in a couple videos ago. And at the same time, I had mentioned that the Waffle House shooting suspect, Travis Rain King, um, he shot up the Waffle House the same day that Kate and William gave birth to their son, Prince Louis. So, another name association for the royal family. They're on a roll. This time, man fatally shot at the mall at Prince George's. And, well, Prince George's seems to have two birthdays, it says, it says here, but um, <clears throat> we can't leave them out. So we had Matt fatally shot at the mall at Prince George. Um, I noticed that, for example, when Madonna has a birthday, they just talk about her nonstop and they highlight her kids. And I think they're doing the same thing here, but the royal family, they're, they're at the highest echelons, I guess, of whatever is going on in the matrix. 
um, because they get these name codes. And uh, we got one too. <laughs> what do you think? So we had comedian Dougie Brown dies at 82. And I looked up, okay, he has my name. Dougie is like, you know, digging somebody. So, of course, that's my angel and I just saying sweet nothings. And uh, there was some clinchers here and he was in a band called The Cool Cats. Of course, my name is Cat. And he also starred in police drama The Bill. All right, now here's the reason that we're actually here. Um, that's what made me take out all the tripods. Um, the other day, there was comedian Teddy Ray, who died in mysterious. Well, I don't know how mysterious it is because he's a real heavy set guy, and we know that obesity is the number one problem. Um, so he passed away, but just looking at that picture of him here doing the 666 sign with the angel cap. I have a feeling that whether or not he's overweight, this would have happened. And the reason why is because at the very same time, there was one of these, these like insanely horrible crimes where these people were actually mourning. They were at a fundraiser for a previous crime and somebody drove into the crowd and his name was Rays. So we have two Rays in two days. And his first name was Sura, is Sura, because he's still alive. There's a picture of him underneath there. They've got that crazed MK Ultra look on these killers. And the meaning of his first name is a chapter of the Quran, which pulls us right back to Salman Rushdie, of course. And the reason why these two rays are so significant is because Oh, we got three rays. <laughs> rays expects Clarkson to arrive on August 15th. August 15th is the reason, actually, and I, I see this all the time. Whether it's the 8th, 8th, August 8th portal of Lionsgate, and then I'm going to see the name Lionsgate as in the film company, that's going to be in the news, but actually what they're doing is paying homage in their occult language, to Lionsgate, August 8th, the, the portal of Sirius and alignment with the pyramids. So now what we're celebrating is August 15th, the Jesuit Order's birthday. Their logo is the Rays. So you have Rays in the news three times, and then um, it keeps going. That they, they picked up on that one. That's what brought me back. So, and when I posted on the old Free to Find Truth website, <laughs> I guess we have to like spruce up our avatars for the new one. So I'm going to do that soon after this. Thank you, Zach, for the new websites. Looking forward to it. Um, when I posted this on the old portal, Ray Shah, one of the, the members, contributors, he was all over it. I hadn't noticed. And of course, Shah means cat in French. So we had another Ray and we had cat. I don't know what all this means, but it's, uh, as we say in French, rayonnant. Okay, then we had roses. So we had uh, Lenny John Rose. Uh, let's see, football legend. And then we had Rosa Rays. That's the this killer. He killed his mother. <laughs> Just for an accent, let's say, to emphasize how horrible and disgusting he is. Now, what I'm saying here is that the Jesuit order, who are then the henchmen, if you like, they are taking instructions. 
telepathically probably because that's how I communicate with Angel. So they're taking instructions telepathically, most likely from whoever is controlling all this, and my angel is there too. And oh, it could just likely be the uh, Enlil, um, it could be Enki, it could be Nephilim. I mean, there's enough culture, there's enough legends out there, uh, religious theses, even new religions coming up with more information like the Nag Hammadi tablets. I mean, there's so much stuff out there that points to the extraterrestrials. So, whoever it is that's deciding all this, they sent out the what's on, they sent out the knocks, they sent out the rose. We had Rosa Reyes, and then they put this beautiful girl um, and her name. So when I saw that, the first thing I noticed was that Zach brought up the necklace, which is bringing back the Rays theme from just the day before. So we're still in the same train of thought. And her name is Amber Escudero Cantostatis. <laughs> and that's why I'm back. Um, I wrote about it. I wrote about Escudero is the squire. He is accompanying the lady. That's my angel. He's accompanying me. And we just had the recent death of Billy Squire, actually. Uh, and her last name, Cunt O Statis. Um, I'm going to first talk about her first name, Amber, and I found out that in Latin it means beaming sun. Okay, now I mean we're into this song, if you like. This is where Angel shines so brilliantly like the sun. When he comes up with these names all in a row like that, and, of course, to put all this together, I wouldn't even want to think. I don't even bother to think about that. I'm sorry. And anybody who wants to say to me that these are humans, they are going to have to explain to me how they can put all these names together in real life, in real time. Okay. Cut o stat this. Uh, when I saw this, uh, that just was the question. I would say this whole thing led to her last name. Because for the past couple years, well, it all started when I first met Angel. We were together in a little Caribbean cast for three years, just having sex all day. And after a few years, I said to him, okay, I would like to have a human mate to take care of me. And there was this big hurricane called Louis. Lui means him, and you put an S, and you get more than one him. Louis. And I ended up meeting my present husband after, due to everything that happened. It was a total disaster, this hurricane. It just sat on top of St. Martin for like 10 hours and demolished everything, including, of course, my house. So, we're nearing hurricane season again. I just would like to say, as an aside, that Irma also played an important part in my story because somebody had gotten into my mind and had become my second angel. And um, Bill definitely, with emphasis, made the point there had to be only one angel, and that's when Irma destroyed the island again in 2017. And the next day, I heard the first thing in my mind, I survived it barely with the animals. And anyway, the first thing in my mind was, now there is only one angel, Angel Bill. 
So we're nearing hurricane season again. There's only one angel, Angel Bill. And I'm now going to broach the subject, which is the question about the stats. And that takes us back to asking Angel, once I had found, he had brought me a wonderful man, whom I'm still with, nearly 30 years later. I said to him, Angel, I would like to have a few people that I can communicate our story with. And he brought me into this crowd with Gematria. And I'm here, and I'm happy, and I, there's some people who are paying attention to what's going on, and I'm getting comments, and I am completely satisfied. So, Angel is asking me, because of course I look at my stats. <laughs> I've always looked at my stats, and since, okay, one of the guests, the guests on Bill Maher's last show, because he plays very much into this, how the fuck, I don't know, he just does. So, one of the guests on his show, and this is a recurring theme where the guest names is part of the name codes. Her name this week is Catherine Rangbell. And that's what's been going on. I've been doing more videos, and the... Um, viewership is ramping up. So, as you can see here, 123 in like a week. Well, that's a lot for me. So I try to only show this to people who would understand about these name codes because they know the numbers already. So I try to make the titles of the videos of two, you know, so it, it, it's not just sought out. But anyhow, I'm so happy with this crowd of people that were in here without having to involve the outside world, so to speak, the people who, who can't see or don't know. They're, you know. I don't need... So, what was the, the lady's name again? Can't go stat this. <laughs> I don't need the great big stats. And I already told Angel, I said, unless you allow me to break the system, that means you bring me out and I can talk honestly. I have no censorship and I can break the system, which I would do if you were to bring me out. So unless we can actually change everything up on a, a completely censorship-free platform, which is like really have a spiritual war, um, a spiritual war is when you are your best person that you can be and you help others because these are the end times and we don't know what we're up against. We don't quite understand it. And fighting that, um, fighting all these crimes and crazy news and bad news, hating those people, that doesn't make sense because um, the hate, the mental injuries, the physical injuries, they just tumble over and it just keeps going. So what we have to do is we have to face the matrix for what it is, an unknown. So if Angel is concerned about my stats, I would tell him that I'm perfectly satisfied right where I am with a few views with my friends who understand. Otherwise, if you want to increase the stats, then we're gonna fuck it up. I'm just telling you. Because I know that you control all media and I know that you place a hush a serious um, distortion of reality through the news. And I would not want to be part of any um, stats increase unless it's you who are allowing me to change the whole system. I know that's what everybody, that's what we all want to do, but that's how I'm interested in increasing my stats. Otherwise, 
Angel, you took such good care of me. Honestly, I'm just perfectly happy with what we've got. And I just hit 60 years old, and I hope that's for everybody who turns 60. They say that you become happy and satisfied at this age, and it's true. <laughs> so, one of the things I noticed when I was looking at my stats <laughs> was that somebody found this old picture from lovetoamuse.com, which it was cute. Okay, so there's a... Uh... Mm -hmm. This guy too. There you go. Brian Kozira, dead at 44 after bicycle crash in Pennsylvania. Brian Kozira. B, Rai, and, okay, he ain't easy, as we know. Bicycle crash, okay. Anne is Anne, donkey in French is Anne, and also we have abbreviated to Anne Ahol. That's both Angel and I interchangeably. Cause he ra, and that's where your sun ray is coming. All right, thank you. See you soon. Bye.